Well, the first time I read the script, I loved the mystery of the show. I love the books by Tess Gerritsen. When I read Dr. Isles, I just thought she was so cool. You know, she spends her days speaking mostly to dead people, and she's more comfortable doing that than live people. I loved Jane Rizzoli's character. I loved that these two women were uh, in this very dark, gritty, male, dominated environment uh, and how they were working out their private lives their friendship and working in this field. I'm very proud to be on a show that women like and that they feel they can relate to. Like if you ask women, we have girlfriends from the time we're young, like that's what we do. We have slumber parties and we talk about boys and we share clothes and Angie and I both agree that these women, they should be friends who respect each other and who can hang out but they can also disagree. It's important to us to have that element of the show. I'm not a big fan of the cat fighting girls. I've never been one of those girls and so I don't really enjoy watching it. We laugh a lot on set. We share a similar humor. I feel like I'm in seventh grade with her. Um, I don't know, I dare her to do things. Well, actually, I don't think I can say it on camera. There was a guy playing a dead guy and he had hammer toes. <laughs> and so she was like in the scene, she kept going, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, go, just touch it. She's like, I'm not touching it. I'm like, do it, just flick his toe. <laughs> she did. <laughs> we do like, you know, really silly, <laughs> immature things. Hi, I'm Sasha Alexander, and you're watching TV Guide Magazine.